Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, you might have noticed on my channel, um, I did like top five for every class, and I just kind of like didn't do Mystic. And the reason for that is laziness. And also, I got sick recently, so if, you so if I sound like shit, um, don't be surprised. I'm literally dying right now. I um, just took a shot of some medicine or something. I don't even know what I took, but it took some. But I might sound like shit. But this is top five Mystics, and. I don't know why I got a random urge to record the video right now, but here we go. Coming in, oh, also, this video will piss off a lot of people, and if one of those people gets pissed off easily, you can suck my dick, I don't really give a shit. Alright, starting off at number five, we are Man Thing. Um, Man Thing, when he was first introduced, he seemed pretty shit, and um, just because his damage wasn't that strong, but then, Brave Soul, Brian Grant, took him to rank five, and he actually proved to us that he wasn't that bad. He is immune to bleed. Okay, and he's also like doesn't take a lot of damage. He's super tanky, so if you get hit, like you won't really take too much damage. Also, has a massive health pool. Basically, he's just a nullified like poison god. And there's one fight, and I'll show you right now. Actually, it is in if we go to Act Five uh, or Act Six, Chapter Three, Quest Three. There is a this is the path. The one I haven't done yet. And it's pretty easy, but then you get to this fight right here, and it is an acid wash Mysterio, and it you need to do poison damage to deal damage, and that would normally be fine, but he's poison immune naturally until he's um, armor shattered or armor broken, and the only character who can really do this fight is Man Thing. Um, King Groot can do it also, but King Groot's gonna trash. I don't really care about King Groot. So yeah, Man Thing. MVP for this fight. That's like his one use in the game right now. And he's just a pretty good nullified character. I mean, you're going to notice on this list, it's just that's like the Mystic class in general. They're just like nullified characters, really. Alright. So now I move on to number four. Okay, guys, we're back here with number four. And I'm sorry, that took like 30 minutes, but probably have to cut that all out. So it probably won't be any time for you. And I um, actually genuinely forgot who my number four is. That's just to show you how like delusional I am right now. And I only got her as a four star, but Morning Star. This character is um, at first when you see her, she's kind of trash. And once you build up her souls, the way her souls work is if she fin finishes a fight with the special three, she gains a soul. Where is it? Special three. Okay. So basically, you get a soul from them, and you start with like fifty charges or whatever. And every hit you do to them increases it by five up to a hundred. And once you get a hundred, you get the soul. And if you reach it, if it reaches zero, if you take damage, you don't get the soul. So I figured this out that um, the suicides count as damage back to her with like the poison. So if you want to use the suicides with her, you have to finish the fight, like kill him with the special three to get the soul. Basically, once you get five souls, it's uh, one soul, one struck with the physical contact attack. You have a fifty percent to make them bleed, which is basically good on defense and stuff, but, you know, none, when you're playing her, it doesn't really matter. Um, special 2 and special, uh, special 2 is not that important, whatever, but special 3, 4, 5, when it gets good, special, uh, 3 souls, your special 2 comes in blockable, which is very useful in like scenarios, they're holding block, you need to just throw off your special 2. 4 souls, um, you gain 50% block chance, which is really cool, and then 5 souls, and 20% chance on hit to life steal, 50% of the damage done to opponent. So when you have five souls there, you're pretty much at like a full yellow bar the whole time. And she's also bleed immune. And her special two, um, it has bonus energy damage per buff, and it nullifies all buffs on them. So like if you go to like the act uh, four venom, I think it was, um, one such through that fight's just dead pretty much. So anything with a, sh a crap ton of buff, she just destroys. And yeah, morning star, she's just a pretty good champion. Um, so yeah, and I move up to the top three. Okay, so the top three is highly disputable, and it'll piss off a lot of people. What I'm gonna pick, but I mean, once again, I don't really give a shit what your opinion is. You can write down in the comments what you think the list is, but don't be a dick about it. You know what I mean? So I know people love this character. I don't. I mean, they're good, but you know, not like top two worthy. But um, this is gonna piss people off. Uh, Black Widow, clairvoyant. You know, people thinking she's number one above Doom. No, okay, first of all, she's just not. She's just not. Okay, she has, she's really good, obviously. She has the crazy nullification, like, every touch you do, pretty much. And then, she has three phases, basically. When you end an uh, attack with the light, you switch between the bleed phase, poison, and incinerate. In the bleed phase, um, 
is, and the way she works is if you basically want to fight characters that are like immune to her ability. So like if you fight a Colossus with her, you want to stand your bleed phase if you want to nullify all the armors. Um, because every time you would place a bleed on the opponent, you instead get power back if they're immune to it. So basically, all, all, all of her abilities work around her phases. So when she's in the blood phase, or bleed phase, her special 2 in every hit gives you regeneration back. So really strong regen power. Like you can use a special 2 and go all the way to max HP if it does a crap ton of damage. And also another thing to mention is suicide, char uh, um, suicide masteries are pretty much essential for her if she wants to be like really good. And also, whatever phase she's in, she's immune to that debuff. So basically, the way she can play her is play her suicide. She starts off in the bleed phase. Um, she, her the bleed's already instantly gone, and then you do a five hit combo, switch to the poison phase, and that's your suicide mastery is just out of the way already. And the, pa the poison phase when she's in, um, every hit is like a power drain, so it's a pretty strong power drain, so you can use that. And then your third phase, the incinerate phase, is just damage. Like when you use it, especially just a crap ton of damage, but one problem with her is, uh, you gotta, she just, you only really use one third of your utility at a time, but I know people say, you know, you can switch to use them and stuff, but like, yeah, but she also requires the Suicide Masteries, I mean, I run the Suicide Masteries, so if I pull her up, I would rank her up, I don't really care, but she's obviously a banger, crazy nullified character, one of the best in the game, also her special too is a, um, she puts a buff on the opponent, it's buff immunity. So it's not like if it's if they have like um, fate seal or, or what's it called like um, nullify immunity. She's not really even nullifying, so she gets around this by putting a special buff just only that she can do, which is called buff immunity, which are, they don't get any buffs pretty much at all during that phase. So very strong character, but she's only a number three for me, just because. And I'll say this: when the abyss came out, the amount of hits on the combo meter matter. And doing as much damage as you can in a small period of time matters too. And she just doesn't have really the damage, I'm not going to lie. And her special two all sorts of shit ton of hits in it, so wouldn't we really help. Now, number two, number one. Um, number two, my boy Sim. This guy is a beast. A just literal beast. So obviously, like all the mystics, crazy nullify potential. And he has three stages also. The armor phase. The Fury and the... What even is the third phase? I don't know what the third phase does. Oh, the third phase is the, um... Like, bleed phase. So, basically, what you want to do with this character is just get to your special three, and all your time... Uh, all the, um, three phases will activate at once. And basically what this does is you have the, um... Like, armor. You have, like, the... The armor phase puts this, like, resistor buff on you, so you can, like, tank special threes. I think the most you can take is, like, 15% or something like that. So it's, like, really strong. Like, if you're about to take a, take a special three, you can use a special one. And the special one, like, instantly, like, um, or, uh, um, goes to the next phase. So if you're, like, one phase off or you're in that phase, you can just use special one and then get to it however you want. Tank special three. So it's good for that. And then, uh, basically, the special three is just you get the bleed phase active. And what makes this guy beast is once you get that active... Just if they're not if they're not bleeding you and they just if they just die because like every hit puts a powerful bleed in the opponent and you can stack this to like ten times like um, he's amazing for like the, he's the pretty much the best champion um, champion for the champion fight in six point two he's insane for the six point three point one Medusa boss the do you bleed one does anything that takes bleed damage he just destroys and his special twos can crit for like when you have all your phases active you also need mystic dispersion so keep that in mind. But with special twos, you can just cycle them constantly. And you get power back from the special two also when you have all the phases active. So you can just keep cycling special twos and just special two intercept over and over again. This does crazy crit damage. The armor breaks you put in them are really strong too. Overall, this guy is just a beast. Also, special three has a 100% chance to nullify all buffs on the opponent. So yeah, Simbi Supreme, literal god. I mean, and if you're watching this far, you already know who the number one it is. Too bad I only have him as a three star, but you know, Doom. Okay, listen, when Doom came out, the hype for him was crazy, and when he actually came out, people were like, eh, he's not that good. But that's because the hype, I think, was too high from like, no matter how good he was, I don't think he would have ever reached the hype that was building up. But then people realized, he, oh, this guy's actually pretty good. Oh, he's actually really good. And then Abyss came out, and we're like, oh, he's one of the horsemen, one of the, well, like the four horsemen of the Abyss. He's just insane. Doom. Just the power control on this guy is so basically what we do this guy is just get to your special three and then win the game pretty much because the way this guy works is 
you basically it's a style we've never seen before you want to get them like as much power as possible so then you can siphon it back so you get them up to like three bars of power then you drop a special one you get like a crap ton of power back cycle up to your special three launch it and then you just do the same thing over and over again keep them at like a super high amount of power so you can steal a lot back you can get up to like two fury buffs with doom um and then you can just launch a massive special three each hit does like a massive incinerate debuff and doom he just and then basically um on the normal like um five hit combo they'll place a shock on the opponent and what makes doom so fun is well if they have a shock on them at any point when you're near them you can just uh, um, hold a heavy attack and it'll instantly change the shock into a passive stun and you can just bitch slap him in the face and if you don't know what i'm talking about just look at this animation it's just just bitch slaps for days and yeah this guy's just insane like and when you bitch slap them you paste a hex i think it's called on the opponent so next buff they get gets nullified instantly and yeah doom is just oh, he's so good like he's so good you don't believe me search up any doom gameplay in the abyss he's amazing for so many fights he's also immune to armor break armor shatter and shock so that's cool and um yeah he's just amazing pretty much oh, also your special attacks don't give any power to the opponent so like and they're always unblockable so doom's a beast basically like they're at like two bars of power like 99 percent and they're blocking you can just launch your special two through the block and it won't give them any, any power so you know doom definitely best character in the game uh the mystics in my opinion uh we are seeing the introduction to long shot and mojo they could change the top five long shot looks insane i don't know if he's number one worthy but he looks insane i don't know about mojo yet but yeah for now doom just reigns supreme and oh, also ideally you don't want to have suicides for doom because he launched a crap ton of specials but like if you bring him to like a normal like act six quest and you need him for like one two three fights you can use suicides i mean if it's only for like a few fights you'll be fine so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video get a like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace